Worked out west with big dreams in their heads Shack up together so they could pay rent They got real jobs when hope turned up dead Don't wanna turn tricks on Sunset Strip Thank you for trying, thank you for trying Thank you for trying, thank you for trying Job, Sarah. We'll be in touch with your manager. It's Dara. Okay, honey. Did you want me to try something else? Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> so, how was the audition? Hey, Calvin. Ugh, it wasn't even for a Sharknado prequel. It was for Sharknado. What? What? The Waynes brothers are doing a Sharknado spoof about sharks with explosive diarrhea. I assumed it was a typo. Oh, man. So, how was it? Honestly, I felt like I nailed it. I mean, I really tapped into what it would feel like to be ravaged by incontinent sharks. And it was crazy. It was like, I don't know, it was an out-of-body experience. I was being eaten alive. Nice. Anyway, when I finished, they didn't really seem that into it. Sorry, D. And an hour later, my manager called me and told me that they loved it. Oh, I got a final call back. That's awesome. <laughs> God, I really need this job. I haven't worked in like forever. Beer? Yeah. Dude, what's up with the skirt? Took you long enough. I was passing out coconut water at Air One all day. Wait, I thought you had an audition also. This morning? I, I was gonna keep it quiet because I didn't want to jinx it, but guys, this could be big. It was a seventh callback for this big studio picture. I mean, there's already buzz around don't, the- Don't, don't, don't say buzz. Anyway, I'd be playing opposite Miley Cyrus, and because it's down to me and this other guy, they brought her in to read with me. What? And it went- Was she so naked? Awesome. That is fucking amazing, Calvin. I know, I know. My, my manager called right after two and said the cast director loved me, and it's down to me and this other guy, but they have to convince the director. Ha, it's, it's crazy to think. Like, I could get a call tomorrow that could completely change our lives. Everything. Jesus, you're even getting me excited. I don't know how you guys deal with this roller coaster. What are you talking about? You deal with the same thing as a writer. Yeah, except that's all rejection and zero upside, so my emotions never get involved. That's because you're old and dead inside. Strong point. <laughs> it's called self-loathing. You'll get there. I mean, look at us with our delusions of grandeur. Wake up. Society lied to us. Our parents, teachers, 80s movies, they all did us a huge disservice. Like, hey, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Bullshit. I love jerking it to internet porn, but the sperm bank puts a cap on the number of deposits you can make. You know what else I love? Taking amazing shits, singing in the shower, picking dry boogers, and judging people. Where's my money? I seriously think it's time for you to start seeing somebody, buddy. No, oh, dude, look. I dated this Asian girl once, super fobby. And on our first date, she was an accountant, of course, I asked her what her dream job would be. She laughed at me. She said, dream job is an oxymoron. Only spoiled Americans conflate work with personal fulfillment. I think she's right. I mean, look at us. We were never taught to manage our expectations, and now we're going to be the first generation that's worse off than our parents because none of us actually has any real fucking skills. I called our landlord to change a light bulb the other day. Wait, Morris? He's 5'2 and 86 years old. Exactly. It took him forever. <laughs> the point is, I'm useless. You guys are too. Well, We'll be seeing what you're saying when we're all hot tubbing it with Miley Cyrus at the after parties. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. It's like, uh, uh. Well, it's been a blast, squad. I think I'm gonna go do a little Netflix and chill. Yeah, don't, don't no, say no. that. Don't try to dat me either. Don't touch me. <laughs> nope. Nope. Are you hungry? Um, yeah. With a dream in my card again. Welcome to the land of fame and success. Whoa. Am I gonna fit in? Jumped in my cab, here I am for the first time. Look to my right and I see the Hollywood sign. This is all so crazy. Everybody seems so famous. 
My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kinda homesick Too much pressure and I'm nervous But then the taxi man turned on the radio And a Jay-Z song was on A Jay-Z song was on A Jay-Z song was on So I put my hands up to play my song The butterflies fly away Not in my head like yeah Moving my hips like yeah I put my hands Everybody's looking at me now